The first day of Central Districts Racing returns on Thursday out of Wanganui, so we thought we'd put together a little preview package of trollists. We expect to go nicely on the programme, as well as highlighting some horses from the Levin Jumpouts on the 10th. The first of those is in race number one on the programme. It is Gentleman Jack for a Gary Vol. This is uh, the one trial of the 850 metres uh, at Foxton on the Heavy 10 on the 4th of June. Look for the horse in the pale blue. He's a horse who has race day experience and looks forward for Gary Vol. Although Gentleman Jack fights hard, power the inside, proceeds across heels, Gentleman Jack coming again, Matilda Mary came to the end of it, the power's kicking on really well over on the inside and out wide here is the Prisier as they get down to the line, they hit it. Gentleman Jack Prisier, power and a real impact, a very good run from back there. Further Second on. of the trollists we'll have a look at is Infrared for Lydia Pickford. It trolled up over the 1,000 metres uh, on the 4th of June around 105 and change for the 1,000 uh, metres. Look for the horse in the pink jacket. It has uh, had uh, a couple of runs in through that first preparation and looks ready to run a race, fresh up. As they get down with 100 metres to go... It is Denali in front as they are infrared in front as they get down close to home. A wall of them for the miners. Infrared wins, I reckon, caramel popcorn. And Chrissy Banbury's team looks to be coming up really nicely from what I've seen at the jump outs and trolls. And one of those is Spring Tide. We're going to take you to Heat 10 at the Livin jump outs. They went over the 850 metres with Lisa Allpress aboard. Spring Tide came home in 51.85, defeating uh, an unencumbered uh, gilding for uh, Jeff Lins. This horse has come up really nicely and I expect it to run a race. Probably the most impressive performance for mine coming into race number one on the programme comes from a horse called Transitory for the Benner and Winyard team. Their team uh, seems to be a lot forward than many in the central districts. Now this is heat 11 at the Livin jump out. So Transitory ran second on this occasion uh, but was hard held at the line and the winner, Ruby Rocks of course, went around in the Oaks of last uh, season. 51.96 for the 850 metres. Just one notable horse to show you in race number two. It is uh, Kappen Horse uh, for Aroyd and Burgess and Chelsea Burr Down will do the riding on Thursday. This horse trolled up nicely on the 17th of June at Otaki on the heavy 10. Beaten by Cruz Ramirez for Bryce Newman who was a very, very talented galloper. Scar Lowy's out wild. He will go to Wanganui on the 10th. I think this is a very strong heat to take notice of and I think Kappen Horse who has very strong form lines with the two wins from the 11 starts and five minor placings looks forward to around an excellent race in race two. As they get down with 100 metres to go, Kapinos over on the inside, Scarloe out wider and then Fiano, but uh, down to the line, Cruz Ramirez, Kapinos, Scarloe and Fiano, a nice heat and then behind them. Moving on to race number eight, there's uh, a few notable horses here I'd like to talk about. Huda is the first of those for Maddie Dixon, a horse that showed a lot at the live and jump out before having a spell. It trolled up nicely uh, mid-June 219 behind Sassanach, who's a talented type and this trial on the 4th of June over the 850 metres when running 52.15. I thought very, very impressive. I think T. Lee's call uh, captured that. And this Redwood gilding looks to be very, very progressive. And here the Redwood going up on the outside of Eagle County, who's trying to find, but that's impressive. And the local wins. The Redwood gets it from Eagle County. We mentioned Sassanach before we showed you that trial of Hoot. And now we're going to bring you Sassanach. This is the performance at Foxton on the 4th of June. Over the 1,000 metres in 103.94 now. In the hands of Lisa all press this horse jumped away nicely they snagged it back to last while it circled them and went to the line with a lap full of uh, physical exertion left to give I think it is forward to run a really nice race a progressive type Sassanach by Perrin Kento. Sassanach out wide has about a length lead here from trying hard as the Perrin Kanto as to party belt Albrecht behind these late is the Ifraj down the outside but Really easily here. Sassanac will win. Second over has been Party Bell de Farage was the next. And then Perrin can Let's now take you to the Levin jump outs in Heat 18. Another for Chrissy Bambury, uh, Empire Patch. It went over the 1,000 metres, running 62.24, which wasn't overly quick on the day, but this is a horse that's been up to Hong Kong. It had a couple of starts in the north, and now with uh, Chrissy Bambury taking advantage of the water walker here in the Manawatu.
to the live-in jump outs now and I want to highlight Mertens who went round in heat number 14 and open over the 850 metres. The time, 50.74 was very, very good on the day. This is a horse who showed us a lot early, had a flat patch uh, in its career before bouncing back nicely last time, but on the evidence of this performance, this horse certainly will put up a chance on Thursday. Moving on to the last race now, race number 11, and a couple of horses to highlight here. The first of those uh, is another for the Bennett and Winyard team. It is Crowning Star. The Philly Boy Hallowed uh, Crown tried up beautifully on the 17th of June over the 1,000 metres, running 102 and change uh, over the 1,000 metre trip on the heavy track condition. Also note, Power and Passion, who's uh, racing on Thursday, runs nicely. Floral Art may be one to watch uh, at Awapuni in a couple of weeks. Uh, we've got Crowning Star on the inside, Desert Magic, but uh, another one one under the line, it'll win here, Valisa Royal Press, and uh, gets the uh, win. Crowning, crowning star from Power and Passion Floral Art. I think the Moving on to the jump outs now, Levin, on the 10th, I'd like to highlight for you Deuce Coop for Susie Gordon. Uh, it was in an open 1,000 metre event. They went 60-45 on this occasion against 63-15 in the prior heat uh, this horse uh, has always shown us a lot of ability, well capable on wet track conditions and wins us nicely suggesting, again, that Susie may just have a nice day on Thursday. And the last one to highlight uh, on the programme is another one from the Levin Jump Outs. Uh, it is way above for Kevin Myers. This one was written by Rosie. The time wasn't overly quick over the 1,000 metres at 63 and change. But this was a horse who was down in the south through the previous preparation. Not a very big horse, uh, but the way she worked through the line and hearing comments from Kevin Myers, do expect this horse to run a very bright race in the last on the programme. So there's some highlighted runners uh, for you from both the Trolls and from the Levin Jump Ants uh, as we look towards a resumption of racing in the Central Districts at Wanganui on Thursday. 11 races, the first on the programme, set to go at 10.45.